bringing you the best. GPTV on Channel 8, WGTV Athens, Atlanta. Enough, Barry. Can't be serious. Dividing the bleeding country up into areas. Too many independent mobs won't sit still for it. I'm just moving around, drumming up support, shooter. Don't call me that. Come on, Harry. Half of Middlesex plus your north of England patch. It's all you've ever worked. Good day. Good day. Peter. Yeah, it's fine. Sit, Badger. Badger, come here, yeah. Got away with dogs. Always have. You're a beauty, aren't you, eh? Eh? Wanna sell him? Say his dog. No bloody chance. Like which? Change your mind. Give you a ton for him. I plan to bring them all to heel, Harry. I intend to have my bleeding way on this. How's crime? Mr. Bowman, I saw you earlier. We on a case, are we? How long you been back on the streets? Four months. Oh, blimey. Ain't no justice, is it? I, I was a model con. Mm. They made me the gardener. Oh, did they really? Yeah. What did you grow? Mary Jane? Yeah. How much do you think this is worth? Oh, don't tell me you're thinking of buying it. Right. I've paid my debt to society. Of you. It owes me, my son. It owes me. A from 40 quid. Right. This is a century. Yeah, that's for tourists. Do you know a ponce called Stephen Richards? Yeah. Well, he's thinking of setting up a kind of blagging incorporated. He's had that on his mind for some time. Yeah, well, straight up. This is serious. Yeah. The main firm is to keep within the confines of certain boundaries, right? With him supplying info and financial support. Excuse me, are we listening? I ain't job no more, Rap. Go and tell the Lily. You must have a phone number. I was always your snout, Mr. B. I ain't got no other contacts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, take care, Rap, eh? Right. I thought to myself, that's you, and then... No, I mean, uh, I wasn't quite sure. Do you fancy a beer? I can't, I'm with the kids. How's See, the... I thought that... Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, no, uh, no. You, you go, you speak. 
How's the Met? I quit. Why? Oh, well, you know. When? Oh, a few years back. What's he doing? Investigation, private sector. Oh, gumshoe. Yeah, <laughs> ah, that's me. <laughs> did you, um... What? Did you remarry? No, I, uh, I got close to it a couple of times, but, uh, no. Oh, I hear your Bernard's doing very well. Yes, they've asked him to be a judge. Oh, a judge, eh? Oh, dear. <laughs> Look, are you sure you won't change your mind about that drink? I can't today. George, uh, hmm? you happy? Yeah, sure. Well, uh... Mum, we better move the car. The pigs are clamping. George, this is Tom. Tom, this is an ex-pig. Former police officer. Oh, hi. Huh? How do you two know each other? Tom, this is George Bullman. Oh, um, my reputation precedes me. Well, is it true you got shot? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, does it hurt? Oh, it buggery. I saw your photo once. Yeah? Tom, we should go. The pigs. Yeah, well, you two are going to have a drink or something for old time's sake. Tom? Well, um... I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, perhaps you're right. Oh, we'd better be off then. So, so I met Mosel. Yeah. Ciao. Fine boy, that. Yeah, he's great fun. Very different from his sister. Oh, yeah, the, um, the pigs. Yep. I, um... I'm glad you're happy. There it is. Look, look, look. Petrol and oil for company car. God, I knew we'd find it tucked away in there somewhere. You know, Mr. Bullman, we are very suspicious of floppy disks. You thought about seeing an osteopath? Computerized records. Oh, yeah. Give me an honest trader with biscuit tins crammed with receipts and invoices. That's what I like. Yeah, yeah. When I had them, they said they prefer computers. Not us at customs and excise. No way. There's not a penny unaccounted for. Please, just ask me questions. George? There's a kid coming up to see you. A boy. A kid? Hmm? Um, Lucy, uh, have we still got all those shoeboxes full of records? Yes, they're in the attic. Oh, well, would you take this... Nice VAT man up and show them to him. You prefer to see the invoices and receipts, the actual paperwork? Oh, yes. Yeah. Lucy? OK? Certainly. I'll get the torches. This way, please. Well, now, young man, Who in the name of Pontius Pilate are you? Peter Mallon, sir. Are you Mr. George Bowman? The very same. You're not local, Peter, are you? I'm from Matlock in Derbyshire. Well, now, Peter Mallon from Matlock in Derbyshire. How long did it take you to walk here? About an hour. I didn't know what bus. How do you know? You're still clutching your railway ticket. Here. Um, do you like pizzas? Oh, aye. Yeah, then you're in luck. Grab a pew. Cola. I believe you're the best detective in England. Oh, at least. Um, this is cherry flavour. Mind when you put your feet down. <laughs> um, well, it's a bit precarious over here. Are you quite sure you'd really rather not just forget about it? I'm obliged to root out all documentary evidence, Miss McGinty. Oh, well. Better? It's my dog. Where? Missing. Badger's been stolen, I know it. 
You normally meet me coming home from school, but day before yesterday we're gone. Mm. I had a dog once. Oh, yeah. This is uh, Flash Gordon. Uh, Flash Gordon the third, actually. He's only lived about 18 months. <laughs> Something's wrong. I can feel it. Wrong? How? Yeah. This bloke came up on business to see me dad from London, I think. Took a right fancy to Badger. Describe him. Not fat. He's got a Oh, he studs. Ah, punk. Oh, he's a punk or a pop singer. That's the dog. Oh! <laughs> Well, is there any chance of describing the bloke, the one from London? Five foot nine or ten. Well groomed, fairish brown hair, fancy coat, pale blue eyes. Like a psychotic. You making this up? No. Go on. He'd come up on business. Took a right fancy to Badger. He offered me money for him. Yeah, but you wouldn't sell? <laughs> that was a creep. Did he have a motor? Two. Bentley and a blue BMW 7 Series registration D456 L and D. Why two motors? Had colleagues. Oh. Well, Peter, it doesn't sound as if this businessman that you've described so well would bother to nick your badger. I don't know. He seemed like a bloke who's used to getting what he wants. Didn't happen to catch his name, did you? Um, I wouldn't step there. Richards. Stephen Richards. Stephen Richards. <laughs> You'll be hearing more about this. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Well, I suppose it's bound to happen ever since we came back to London. He's left the police. Yes, I heard. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I thought you'd forgotten all about him. George is difficult to forget. However, I'd put him out of my mind. Yes, he's working as a private detective now. Hmm, gumshoe. Told me. He seemed happy enough. He's called quite a niche woman. He and his psychic. Ah, who's he? Some girl. Very pretty, I hear. They work well together, apparently. Where's Tom? In his room. Did he meet Bullman too? Only briefly. Has he run up before? Bad you never run up. Him and me were mates. Sorry about eating your pizza. That's all right, you're welcome. My dad said I should have sold him to that bloke. Oh, uh, Richard Stevens. Stephen Richards. D456 LND. Uh, blue BMW turned up mob handed in a roller. Bentley. You detective or what? He's just making sure you get your facts right. Yeah, right, now, Bill, look. I'll tell you what I plan to do. Miss McGinty here will drive you back up to Derbyshire. Odds are that the dog will be back home by then anyway. You don't understand. I know he's in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah fine. But in the meanwhile, I'll take a look at this Richard's gaff. If old Badger's been held there against his will, I'll find him. The bloke's got away with dogs. They just caught two wagging the tails. Is that a fact? Who do you folks think you are? I'm as used to me going up poaching with the lads. Well, can I come with you in case the riches oh, join you? No way. You are going home. Yeah, we don't take the case. About the fee? Yes. I propose ten pounds down and thirty when you produce the dog. You've got great faith that I'll find Badger. Well, you have to. You're the last hope. Yeah, it's all right, it's all right. Look, I trust you. Tell me something. Yeah, what's that? Your dad only got one arm, has he? I told you he was the best detective. The M25 from London Euston is now at platform nine. Salesman just
got into that motor, Gene. Up on a day trip, do you reckon? Do I tag on? That is negatory, Slim Chancer. Situation's under control. What you reckon, Shooter? I reckon Richards has gone over the score this time. Silver Ford, here it comes. That was poor, right, boss? Looks like betting shop. Are we going to stop this? Who do you think I am? The filth? Much dosh in there today. Only 30 grand. Why would Richard's firm trespass on our manor? Trying to prove a point. Playing that. Oh, stop, you pink George. You give us a turn, no mistake. Mr. Bullman, do you rap? And what is your game, eh? It ain't Halloween. No, I've fixed a new contact with Sweet William. Bloke don't, in. I, I don't want to know. No. I don't want to know. No, it's in the Todd, right? Well, I tell him about you know who, and he slips me a small pony. Well, it's hardly worth your trouble, is it? And uh, this was his idea, was it? What is he? They run out of detectives? No. This pays me debt, right? I help the old Bill, I see I'm all right. That's how life is, George. You know that life's rich tapestry? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm that bloke scrabbling around Harold's feet, searching for spent arrows. Who is that crumpet I saw you with, George? Bit of class, that bird. Buyer. It's the buyer right. tapestry, not life's rich tapestry. Oh, do yourself a favor. Go back to picking pockets before Richards has your knees. He does that, you know. I don't pick pockets no more. <laughs> Disguised as a road sweeper, grow up. And you do, because I saw you at that market, at it. Mr. Two Bull. wallets, a Rolex, and a purse off that fat woman who runs the Nick Carmen roller stall. You can turn me in. Now look, when the motor's gone, leave the car and the jacket and the brush, eh? I'll trade you this old bit of April in Paris. It's miles too big, Mr. B. You haven't seen a dog rag with this gaff, have you? Yeah, sure, two of them, Dobermans. No, it's, it's a sort of grey, shaggy dog with, with a, a black colour and stud, no. sort of collie like that. No, nothing like that. No. OK, sod off. We're going to wait for a bus. Go! you on that shelter, but I've tried it out on the duplicate and it works. Problem was making sure the microphone frequency didn't trigger off the device. You aged the leather? Oh, do me a favour, Harry. Sorry. How much? Uh, Fifteen hundred nicotine. That's what I figured. God. What, what made you think of that? Oh, yes. Try to knock off the goal that way. <laughs> Hope you have better luck, eh? 
Don't ask any more questions. Oh, uh, apologies, Shilter. Apologies. You're a craftsman, Jack. Ah. Hey, never saw you. My put sweetener in. How oh, very thoughtful all of a sudden. He's a nice bloke. Who? Bullman. George Bullman. Your ex. I don't believe I ever said he wasn't. Why did you split up? I just got tired of preparing suppers that never got eaten. Well, Dad often works till late. Yes, well, I'm older now. More pragmatic. So you resented being second to his work? You make me sound unreasonable. Believe me, even George accepted we couldn't live like that. Well, why? What was he in? A flying squad? Yes, for a while. Then special branch. Detective Inspector Bullman. I knew when I went to the palace with him, our marriage was over. Felt a bit of a fraud, really. Buck House, George called it. He was actually thrilled. Well, did you get to meet the Queen? Well, what for? George Medal. Oh, when was this? Oh, 1970, 71, I don't remember. And when did you leave? Just after. Look, Tom, I really don't want to go on with this. And you are completely off him? Yes, I am completely off him. I met your father and he swept me off my feet. It was love at first sight and I have no regrets. Okay. Seems a shame. What? Well, I, I took an instant liking to him, that's all. He was always a loner, Tom. George Bullman doesn't need anyone. Sure. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here, would we? You and Dad and me. Let's look. Badger's a creature of habit. Wherever he is, he always manages to meet me somehow. Come on in. What will you see? I may have probably think of somebody's mother or a teacher or something. Well, thanks a million. How about somebody's big sister? That'd be daft. I'm not telling any fibs, you know. Whoever heard of a detective telling the truth? Thank you very much. No luck at the police station or the RSPCA. How about local farmers? This is his favourite. Badgers in the county of Derby will come for this feed. Local farmers would have rang. I told his name's on his collar. Peter, sometimes farmers shoot dogs. Aye. But they won't shoot Badger. Maybe if he chased some sheep. Badger's a malin dog. Nobody would dare. I'm not with you. Be dad, Miss McGinty. Fought not cross my father. Well, lucky you.
Working very late, Squire. Got to keep the environment clean, isn't it? And the council yard shut for the night. I sometimes lose track of it. The council yard? Times winged chariot. Only they're reporting one of these missing this morning. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, well, uh, that'll be it then, uh, probably. How'd you work that out then? I found it. You just found it? Correct. You've been reporting working this road since 3 p.m. Very untidy stretch. Name? Bullman George K. Well, Bullman George K, you're nicked. I blame society. I knew he'd come to no good. Open that. What with? Are you in the voice, Kate? You asked me to leave. Yeah. I've got a Swiss Army knife. You know what? I bet the Swiss Army don't use those things. It's all right, Bedsy. Good. Come on. I thought you said it was a mort. Bloody fierce looking, if you'd ask me. He's a pussycat, aren't you, Bedsy? Hey, I ain't got no plate. Empty it on the ground. Do wolves use plates, I ask you? Wolves? When he's finished taking with the mortar. He won't savage me, will he? No, but I might. Come on. Good book, that. It's my dad's. He's been reading it for years. Years? Must have read it at least six times. Right, then. What about Badger? He's come to no good. That Stephen Richards has pinched him. What makes you so sure? I just feel it. In my bones. Whenever I look at that collar, something inside me says Stephen Richards. I know it. You love Badger a lot, don't you? Of course. And he probably loves you. Is that why you fibbed? What about? This collar. I did find it. I believe you. But a bright boy like you, Peter, you must have searched everywhere before you even thought of going all the way to London. You know this, sir. Don't touch clues. When did you find it? I found it last night, and it hit me so strong. Seeing as how that Richard bloke had been so keen on having Badger. Badger did take a fancy to him. But why would someone take the dog and leave the collar? Come on, this way. Did I say sit? Not that I could hear. Did he say sit? Vagrant, is it? You what? Are you a vagrant? Jan Nova Progenitus Kylo Demititur Alto. Oh, it's foreign. It's Latin. Oh, bleeding graduate entry, eh? Oh, that's good. <laughs> About this dust cart. No, I take it it's not yours. You're not employed by the council. I believe I have one phone call. Oh, leave it now. It's only a dust car. Look, it's a fiver down the magistrate's court. I mean, do you have an address? Steady job. We can get your police bail. Shouldn't you have cautioned me? Oh. An amateur lawyer. One call. I want to make one call. Actually, that's in America. You've been watching too many movies. 
However. Give us a line, Doris. What's the number? 230043. That's a yard number. Will you dial it? Oh, blimey. Look, if your job, you might have said. It's after six, I'll be. Oh. Uh, this is Finchley Nick here. To whom am I speaking? Oh, sir. Um, we have a Mr. George Bullman here, sir. He's facing a possible criminal charge. He, he said he, he said he wanted to have a word with you. Oscar 262, sir. Very good, Commander. Thank you. What's your nifty? You're working late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all grief. Hey, do you fancy a quick beer later? Like Use your place. Great. Oh, this charge. Oh, well, you see, look, I found an abandoned rubbish cart and I adopted it to render myself unremarkable to a particular chummy of whom I intend to speak, providing the good PCs 262 and 149 will release me. Roger Nifty. See you later. Oscar to uh, PC Stedman, sir. Oh, yes, sir, I do understand, but we have our job. If you say so, sir. Her own bio linked with Sam McNamani, Piggy Davidson, Mr. Paris Cipriano, and the Maltese brothers. Oh, oh, names to conjure with, eh? George, these are not simply your mugs who go away and get naughty. These are your backage of financial planners. Yeah, yeah, I know who they are. And Stephen Richards. You know all about him, don't you, George? Oh, yeah. So do we all. Bit of good fortune. You and your dust cart being in that particular road. I was on a case for a client. Bloody overtime cut. Had no boat team on Richards the last 11 months, and they pulled it last week. Man is swift. Maybe we could do business together. Business how? Well, seeing as how you're so undermanned, my firm will keep Obo for you. Then if we turn up any information that nails Richards, you could pay me out your snout fund. Fund. You're a robber, George. No, I'm a small businessman. What's this case you're on? Oh, it's small potatoes, but Richards enters the frame. And uh, I noticed from that list of callers at his gaff today that one serious name is missing. Who's? Shooter Malin, the original one armed bandit. There's a blag in today in Manchester. Out of town mob, the whisper goes. Mm, let me guess the target. Property owned by Malin. A betting shop. You know, George, there's times I wish you'd never left us. Yeah, but not many. SDG. Hello, George. It's me. Ah. I've delivered this prog safely and I'm now on my way home. For what it's worth, the kid found the collar. What? Just the collar? Mm-hmm. Well, if you ask me, the dog's had it away in his toes. Ah. Yeah. Um, how was the father? The one-armed man? Yeah. He was away on business. Is he now? George, there was an armed robbery up here today. It was on the radio. So? This is not solely a case about a lost mongrel, is it? No, not anymore. We got a nice pair of business from the thin blue line. Oh, joy, unconfined. So come home, all is forgiven. What, even letting the VAT man fall through the roof? <laughs> Especially. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
Flash, tell me something. Why should somebody nick a dog and leave the collar? Hey? Eh? Oh, excuse me. Well, bless my soul. I'm uh, Tom Harmon. Yeah, of course you are. Hey, um, come in. Come on in. Cherry cola, or would you rather have a beer? A glass of milk. Milk. Right, here we go. You know, um, I might just have some myself. A Saxon Elizabethan court music. Yeah, fairly Catholic taste. Uh, do you play anything? Bit of piano. And great milk. Yeah, it was a good year. You know we met this morning. Uh, just passing, were you? You bit out of your way. Well, I felt I'd known you for well, a long time. Yes, I know. Impressionable age, I suppose. Yeah. What school do you go to? Well, St. Paul's. Doing okay. Well, I'm hoping to go to Oxford. What college? Well, Dad went to Oriel, so. What do you want to be? <laughs> You'll laugh. Archaeologist. <laughs> a bit like a detective, Mum always said. They must be very proud of you. George. Do you know a bloke called Andrew Marvel? No. He was born in 1621. He wrote a poem called The Garden. She always said you had a terrific memory. Wondrous life is this I lead. Ripe apples drop about my head. The luscious clusters of the vine upon my mouth to crush their wine. The nectarine and curious peach into my hands themselves to reach. You're saying I've got it made? What I'm saying, Tom, what I'm trying to say is that I messed up your mother's life enough 16 years ago. So you don't want me coming around here anymore? As a friend, with your parents' blessing. I can't see them giving it. They're very sensible people. Hey, time wounds all heals. Go back to your family, son.
drive that. I wouldn't care to have to do it every day. Now, that armed robbery, it was a book his, owned by Peter's dad. Shooter Mallon? Yeah. Fancy you taking young Peter's ten quid to suss out his daddy. Are there no debts you wouldn't stoop to? Not where crime is concerned. Anyway, the kid would have been offended. And if we don't find the dog, we return the fee. Somebody's made a great big hole in the gold watch. I expect it's the guilt. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you could be right. So what's the deal with Elsid? Oh, it's that villain Richard's in what young Peter reckons nicked his dog. Well, it fancies himself as the Cree twins rolled into one. Mm. Right. Well, he's uh, splitting the country into crime baronies, but I don't think Shooter Malin wants to play. So this blagging is down to Richards to draw Malin's attention and show him up in front of his peers. Yeah, he's going to get naughty. And when thieves fall out... Oh. They make mistakes. OK, what's in it for STG, Batman? 10% of all Richard's property, Robin, seized upon conviction. That could be substantial. Oh, not half. Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah, uh, nifty rang. The police have been called to a flat in Hackney. There's a couple of Richard's lads there. They've both been shot in the leg, and they're in hospital now, and uh, they're keeping stum. So... Richards hits Malin's betting shop. Mm. And Malin goes away on business. Richards' boys get the knuckles wrapped. Yeah, and Malin regains his loss of face amongst his peers. What do you think we're into here? A gang war? No, 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 no. Malin's too professional for that. There's, a, there's no profit in playing silly buggers. Oh, in which case he'll have to stop it once and for all. Red Peugeot, parked in that side road. Three men inside. ID. Shows that photo again. Yeah, that's him. Mm-hmm. Not like him. It's very like him. I mean, he's not like Malin to get so close to his target. Maybe he'll use a rifle. What, a smoking gun? No. That is not his style. The man's never done time, Lucy. He's, he's so able. Really uses his noddle, you know? He could just be sussing it out. Mm. Let's hope you're right. OK, I read the instructions. To end it to your boss. That's wicked. To arm trigger, press green button. To open acoustic receiver, press yellow button. Close the flap gently. Uh, maybe I should do that, boss. I've got two. Uh, and... Attach device to delivery system. Okay, Badger. Come here. Come on. Come on. Over. Come on. Come on. Come on. Over. That's good. That's Be careful. That's Jesus. Seems a shame. Dog won't feel a thing. Go on. To arm detonator, press green button. Well, <sighs> they've got a dog in the car. A dog. Yeah, it's Badger. Richards is making another circuit. Someone's getting out of the car. He's walking. 
walk in the dark. The dog's wearing a collar. What was that kid playing at? Oh, I, I can't fathom this. You know, up in Derbyshire, there was this book lying around that Peter's father was reading. What book? Target the Goal. Yeah, a good book, that. What's that about? Oh, 101 ways the OAS tried to assassinate the Goal. You know, shooting, blowing him up with a bomb. <laughs> well, I don't expect one involved a dog with a new collar, did it? Watch it! Look out! Hi! Hi! Watch out! Watch out! Come into the alley. Yeah, boy. Oi! Don't touch that dog. It might explode. This, this is a citizen's arrest. On what grounds? Attempted murder. You need evidence, darling. W.C. Fields was right. Next time on Bullman. A defense minister loses a briefcase containing top secret documents. You looked everywhere. Everywhere. You asked everyone. Well, I asked the staff. What do you do? Not being an accountant. MOD. Oh, I see. And you're not reported it because you should not have had whatever is inside it, inside it, and you'd be well and truly in the mire. Um... What branch of MOD? It's in the planning, planning department. And what's in the briefcase? I'd rather not say. If it was to fall into the wrong hands, what then? I'm finished. As Bowman and Lucy close in, they jeopardize a Middle East operation and become targets for assassination. 
can't afford to have some gumshoe mucking up this operation, Shimon. Find out who he is. And then? We take appropriate action. Oh, yes. We're going to be killed. I sincerely hope you're joking. Fizz Consoli, Experts Mole, Ruit, Suwa. Oh, yeah? Find out what happens on Bullman, Thursday at 10 o'clock on GPTV. about myself. Read Dianetics by L. Ron Hubbard. It's the owner's manual for the human mind. Get your copy today at B. Dalton Bookseller. The year, 1945. The occasion, our boys come home from World War II. The music, the best we ever had. And now, the Good Music Record Company presents the great music of that fabulous era. Homecoming 1945, a collection of 45 original hits from one of America's proudest and happiest moments. Grab your coat, don't forget your hat. I'm gonna buy a paper doll that I can call my own. I got a gal in Kalamazoo. This wonderful offer is not in any store. You get all 45 hits on four big records or three cassettes. Only $19.95. Also available on compact discs for just $24.95. Have your credit card ready and call toll free. 1-800-554-9600. Or send $19.95 for LPs or cassettes or $24.95 for CDs, plus $3 shipping to Homecoming 1945, Box 98363.